People prepared to travel over the last week. At-home test kits have been popular through the holidays, but if you're thinking about using one before sending your kids back to school, there's a few things you should know. 13 News' Matt McCabe is live outside the Winnebago County Health Department with the latest guidelines. Matt? Yeah, hey Sam, those at-home test kits seem like a good idea, especially for parents in a rush after the holidays, but there are some things to know if you use them and depending on your results. Albert Jordan is surrounded by the noises of the pandemic. I worry about that quite a bit because nobody knows this is a virus that we can't see and you can't tell who has it. His two daughters work in Rockford Public Schools and his grandkids are students in the district. Right now they're afraid for their safety and I'm afraid for them too. The popular at-home COVID-19 test kits have flown off the shelves during the holidays and even though it's convenient for families, it is not the best option for kids returning to school. What we don't want are people bringing in the test kits with the student on that day saying, my child tested positive. Northern Illinois public health officials know parents want to get their kids safely back in school, and they know there may be some questions about doing it right. We would urge those parents to contact the school district, let the school district know that their child has tested positive with one of those home tests, and then be prepared for the school to say, now we're going to bring you in, you know, pull up in the parking lot, we're going to send somebody out and we're going to go ahead and do another test on you because it has to be counted through the school system. The holiday season proves the toughest lesson right now is keeping emerging cases of COVID-19 out of schools in the new year. And both county health departments say that anyone who tests positive with an at-home COVID test should tell their local health department they'll be able to tell you what you should do next. For now, reporting live in downtown Rockford, I'm Matt McCabe. Back to you. Thank you, Matt.